Welcome to God's Playbook with your host, Father Rico Passero. It's a 20, 10, 5, touchdown! Touchdown! Let's play ball. Friends, welcome back to God's Playbook. This last day of July is dedicated to St. Ignatius of Loyola, who lived from the years 1491 to 1556. St. Ignatius was born into a noble family in northern Spain and was raised as a gentleman destined for military service. Though it was reading the life of Jesus and in the lives of the saints that he found himself inflamed with a desire to serve Jesus in a special way. In speaking with St. Francis Xavier, whom he shared an eagerness for the service of Jesus, St. Ignatius found that his vocation was to the priesthood and was ordained a priest of God. He formed the Society of Jesus, which is known as the Jesuits, and Ignatius spent his life directing the growing order, writing its constitutions, and refining its well-known spiritual exercises. If you have ever been on an Ignatian retreat, it focuses on the writings of St. Ignatius and the spiritual exercises, rather you having its full experience in the 30-day-long retreat, or perhaps the shortened versions. St. Ignatius was canonized in 1622 and is a universal patron of retreats and soldiers. For the Jesuit community, which focuses on academics, they use the many writings of St. Ignatius of Loyola to increase their relationship and knowledge of God. In the spiritual exercises, which focus on silence, simplicity, sacred scripture, and listening to the voice of God, the exercises help the pilgrim to grow in their awareness of the presence of God, the knowledge of God, in their own prayer life, and being loved by God. Thereby, this saint of the day helps each one of us in our own discipline of prayer, of fasting, of almsgiving. It shapes many retreats that we've likely been on and will be on. And realizing the great importance of placing God as number one in our lives. So as we conclude this month of July, let us thank God for the gift of St. Ignatius. Let us continue to pray for an increase in vocations among the Jesuit community. We pray for Pope Francis, a Jesuit priest. May we also pray for the Jesuits serving throughout the world in many education centers, in parishes, in missions, May the Holy Spirit continue to touch the lives of many more men and women to follow in the footsteps of St. Ignatius in service of God and his church as Jesuits. And may we, as individuals, increase our acceptance of God, deepen our knowledge of him through prayer and study, and then through Methods like the spiritual exercise and other forms of prayer. May we become holy. May we be seen as righteous. May we live the gospel message and bring others close to God too. For God's Playbook, friends, I'm Father Rico. Let's ask the intercession of St. Ignatius today and let's renew our commitment to Christ. God loves you and so do I. If you like what you hear, please consider supporting us using any of our affiliate links in the description below via Budsprout, Ko-Fi, or GoFundMe. Thanks and God bless.